My desk is such a mess and I literally just cleaned it yesterday. In case you didn't know, I wrote a book. And under that book, I've got a bunch of bracelets that I am filming for my next bracelet collection video. Of course, we've got The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which is the book that I'm currently reading, and sunflower seeds, because I'm not a Slavic person if I don't eat sunflower seeds constantly. Hi, hello, my name is Mashnuts, and welcome to another vlog. I'll do a quick intro of my book, but if you're watching this video, you probably know who I am, and you probably know that I wrote a book, so I'll be very brief. I wrote a book, it's the beginner's guide to friendship bracelets. It's a beginner's guide to friendship bracelets, surprisingly. <laughs> It starts off from the basic knots and takes you all the way to complex patterns. And it comes out on August 23rd in the US and about a month later everywhere else. And if you pre-order it, which you can do now, make sure to send a screenshot of your order confirmation to my publisher, RockyNook at rockynook.com slash friendship. There we go, that's the thing. I need to do this in every video now because otherwise you won't know that I have a book. That's just the deal. All right, so my life is pretty hectic at the moment because I'm traveling a bunch. I'm traveling so much this year. I have so many travel plans. This year, I was already in Russia visiting family over the winter, then I came back. Then I went to the Czech Republic to see my sister because she had a baby and it was great. I met the baby, it was amazing. Then I came back, then I went there again. <laughs> we were actually supposed to go to Spain together, but that got canceled last minute. So instead I already had the holiday booked and there was a long weekend in the UK because of the bank holiday. And I was like, okay, might as well just went there again. And then I came back literally a week ago and now I'm going back to Russia again to see my family because I haven't seen my husband since January. So it's it's been a while, you know, I have to I have to see them every once in a while. So I'm going there again, except this time, because I work from home, I'm allowed to work from there. So I'm actually going there for nearly three months. And then when I come back, I have some more travel plans pretty much straight away. <laughs> I'm going to two other places, but we'll talk about that later because I'm kind of nervous that it might get canceled. We'll see. Point is, I just came back from the Czech Republic because I went to see my sister again. And now I'm going to Russia for three months to see my family and visit my husband. And I'm gonna live there for three months, which means that I need to pack like crazy. I usually travel with just my backpack and like a mini suitcase that I take. But this time I'm taking, a, I mean, it's on the floor, you won't see it, but it's like a proper big suitcase with like a bunch of stuff. So I'm trying to figure out what I need to pack. I'm probably packing all of my string which is interesting, at least like all of my basic colors, none of my special string or multicolor stuff. In fact, I did an unhaul video where I got rid of a bunch of string, which I don't know if this will be posted first or that will be posted first, but if it, this is posted after that, I'll leave the link in the card and in the description. That was a fun video to film. Got rid of a bunch of string. It went to good sources. It went to my friend who crochets and also to a charity shop. So good, good places, but I have a lot more storage space now. I'm rambling. My brain is going like at hundred miles per hour because I'm leaving in two days and I need to sort so many things out. I'm also pre-filming a bunch of videos today, which is great. I will be able to film when I'm there. Like it's not that big of a deal. I probably shouldn't be stressing so much about this because I even bought like lights to just have there to be able to film there. So it's really not that big of a deal, but I would rather have videos done in advance so that I have like a buffer in case I do run into some issues. So. Yeah, also I'm just, I'm feeling very inspired right now. I don't know what it is, but I'm just like very pumped. Really wanna make videos right now. Got a bit of a book update for you guys as well. I don't remember what book I was reading last this book to you, but since then I read Elantris for sure. Tabbed it a little bit. I didn't tab it too much, but I did tab it a little bit, which were my favorite parts, my funny, favorite funny parts. Let me, let me read you a quote. This is, this is a favorite quote of mine. So there's this like ball of light thing that's sentient, right? But it's, it's a ball of light and his name is Ashe. Ashe snorted. You know, I've never been able to figure out how you Sion's managed to sound like that, Serene said. You don't have noses, how can you snort? Years of practice, my lady, Asha replied. I just, I, I love that, it was, it was fun. It, you know, really enjoy that. <laughs> it's one of the quotes that I uh, highlighted. Anyway, this is by Brandon Sanderson, it's called Elantris. It was a great book. I really enjoyed it, it was very fun. Loved it, five stars, genuinely, really, really enjoyed it and I wanna read more Sanderson now, so. Except now I'm going to Russia for three months, so I only have the books that I have on my iPad. Fun. I'm currently reading The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which I am really enjoying. Also, these are much shorter than I expected them to be. Like, I don't know what I thought they were gonna be, but I, I thought The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy was like a big novel. It's not, it's really short. There's like six of them, well, five, and some after that as well. But they're really short, right? Like, it's also, I thought this was like a serious sci-fi novel. It's comedy pretty much like a sci-fi but it's also comedy like every other line is a punchline and it's great i'm really enjoying it like it's a lot of fun so that's kind of my my reading update i'm also listening to malibu rising by taylor jenkins reed 
and I'm reading Those Who Wait, which is a sapphic romance on my iPad. Although I must say, I'm not really enjoying that one. I thought I would, I really thought I would, but I guess something about politics, because like one of them is a politician, the other one's like a daughter of a politician and they're like romancing together. Politics bore me in a book, it's mm, too, too real. I'm like, you know, like I, give me a break. So that's how I feel about those books. Love Malibu Rising, by the way, if I didn't say that, at least so far, I've only listened to a third of it, but I am enjoying it, it's quite fun. I find that I, I like Taylor Jenkins Reid's books. They have an interesting flavor to them. They're not written like normal books are written, at least not ones that I've read. I guess this is a genre that's new to me, if that makes sense. Like maybe there are, there probably are a bunch of books that are written like that, but this is a new genre to me, so it feels refreshing for me. Anyway, that's enough about books. That's pretty much all I wanted to say about books. <sighs> I'm really rambling here because I'm very stressed. I'm gonna go edit the videos that I filmed today. I filmed a bunch of videos today and I have no idea where this vlog is gonna end up. I'm probably gonna include some clips from when I finally get to Russia in this vlog so you'll get to see my cats. So I'm very jealous of you because that's gonna be in a few minutes for you but I don't see my cats until like three or four days from now, depending on how long travel is gonna take me. <laughs> anyway, see you in a bit. Hello, hello, so I am here, I made it. The journey wasn't too bad actually, it took like two days but it wasn't too bad and I am finally here. I did however lie about the cats. It's been three weeks and a bit that I'm here and I still haven't been able to see my cats. So you're probably not gonna see them in this video, unfortunately, though I'm probably still gonna be filming a few vlogs while I am here. The cats aren't currently in the place that I'm staying at and turns out when you're working full time, which I am right now, it's very difficult to like go somewhere to get the cats and then come back. We kept making plans to do that, but they keep falling through. Last time they fell through because there was like a massive thunderstorm that had like weather warnings and everything, so we couldn't go. Keeping hope. But yeah, I bought lights and everything and I got my tripod, I got my camera, I've got my microphone as well, but I'm not recording on it right now because I still need to get the thing that holds it. So that's coming uh, over the weekend. I've got myself a desk, so I've got like a nice setup going here, which is great because every time I've come here previously, I didn't really have a setup and so all of the time that I was filming was kind of just like awkward and weird. But now I've got like a proper setup going, so I'm excited and I want to start making a bunch of bracelets. In fact, I want to start making a few bracelets for like tutorials and not with me's and then once I've started them and I like made the beginnings, I'm just fiddling with some bobbins that I've had on my desk. Once I start making them and I've already got the start down, I want to start recording another 24 hour bracelet challenge, which I've been meaning to do for ages. I've been meaning to do that for ages, but it's such a daunting task. It's huge, you know, it's a huge thing. So I, I want to do it though. I really want to do it. So let's pick out some patterns and cut some strings. So I actually updated my to-dos recently and I now have a bunch more bracelets in here. You can tell that I'm in the mood for normal patterns because like the vast majority of these are normal bracelets with some, you know, alphas sprinkled in here and there. But yeah, I want to do the 24 hour challenge again, but this time I want to do it specifically with bracelets that I'm finishing after I've filmed a tutorial for them. Because you know, I want to kind of kill two birds with one stone. So I want to film a bunch of tutorials and then also have the motivation to actually finish those bracelets in a timely manner because when Whenever I film a bunch of tutorials together, it takes me forever to finish the bracelets like that. And I feel like it's quite an efficient way actually, like you sit down and you film a bunch of tutorials, very efficient, so that's kind of the kind of the goal here. But I also might want to do some Not With Me videos and I need to figure out what to prioritize. Like this bracelet for example, I'm not going to be linking these because you can see the pattern numbers uh, on screen here or on screen here. But this bracelet for example, I love it, I think it's so cute, but I'm not making a tutorial on this because this includes so many steps, like this entire pattern pretty much, 32 rows, none of that is really repeating. So I can't like usually for, for example, this bracelet, which I'm definitely doing a tutorial on. This is kind of like the fishbone chevron that I did a tutorial on. This literally just has two rows and it would be this row, like one candy stripe row with a slight variation because one of those are forward backward knot. And then this row where most of them are backward forward knots except for these two. That's literally, it. it's just these two rows repeating over and over again to create that pattern. So this would be a super simple tutorial, literally like two steps. So that I'm actually saving because I'm gonna do. But this one, for example, this entire thing would be what I need to explain within a tutorial, 32 rows. So I can't film a tutorial for that. That would take forever to explain. And will probably even be more confusing than helpful, to be honest. But I think it's such a cute pattern, but I'm gonna leave that one for later. So this one I'm definitely doing because I love it. I think it's super cool. I just need to figure out if I actually have enough color variations for that. How many color? 20 colors, 20 colors. I mean, you can definitely make this smaller. I'm curious if there are 
yeah there are variations like even the same creator has created a smaller version so maybe i can explain that one actually instead how many colors 12 colors in this one hmm or maybe i actually do both and i explain both to kind of show how you can add more strings to make it bigger i mean i guess that would depend on if i actually have enough colors because i really like this i think this is super cool but then also definitely would need to explain how to make it smaller for people who don't have that many colors because that's all that's a lot of colors i'm not even sure i have that and i have a bunch of string all right so that one's happening. This one is definitely happening. I've been meaning to do a tutorial on a bracelet like this. Uh, let me show you actually. I think I saved this one recently-ish. This one. I want to make a tutorial on this one. This would be a little bit more complex in terms of making a tutorial for it because, well, it's a bigger pattern and I would have to explain it in like chunks. I'd probably do like two triangle ends like here and here with a loop. And I would explain this bit, this bit probably the center after that, then the little triangles on the sides, then that. Oh wait, no, that would be, I would already explain that, so I wouldn't, or would I? No, that's different, yeah, I would need to explain that. See, complicated, <laughs> lots of thoughts. Oh yeah, and then I would have to do this bit and then the triangles again. Okay, yeah, that's quite a lot of steps, but I really wanna do this because I really love this pattern, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna make this now because that's a lot of work. So I'm gonna start off with this one, and then if people like it, I might make a tutorial on this one because it's essentially like the same-ish pattern but this is obviously more complex so I'm making these two let let's go with it I mean if I have enough colors I'm gonna do this one this one for sure this one for sure I want to say let's do this one because this is like another variation of the chevron which I've been meaning to do more sort of like beginner tutorials and this is definitely like one of them this is what like three rows that are pretty simple yeah let's do it I mean might as well right and also it's just it's cute it's summery Definitely, okay, fine, let's do, let's do that one. I wanna do a tutorial for this one. It's quite a few steps. Like, I don't know how ambitious I wanna go because obviously I have to first film all of these tutorials before I even start making the 24 hour bracelet challenge. Do you know what? I might as well, do you know what? I'm gonna cut the strings for it and then by the time I get to it, maybe I'll leave this one for like one of the last tutorials that I'll film. By the time I get to it, I'll decide whether or not to include it within the 24 hour bracelet challenge. Where's that? Because like, it's cute, it's relatively easy to explain. Every time I think about whether or not I'm gonna make a tutorial for something, I think about how I'm gonna explain it first, and then I kind of, I was gonna say eyeball, but not really. Just kind of, you know, guesstimate how long that would take. But this one I would explain probably by doing like, row of candy stripe, and then I would explain these bits, like one knot, two knots, three knots, four knots, five knots, six knots, seven knots. Then we go reverse, and kind of this bit goes reverse. And then we go one by one like that. And then basically same thing, but opposite. I feel like that's doable. That's not like too many steps for a tutorial. Plus it results in like some really cute bracelets, so. I kind of want to do this, but again, that one's not like a super high priority, so I'm gonna leave it for now. I want to do this one as a knot with me at some point, but I'll leave that for later. This pattern, just for context, I'm not gonna be making this one right now, but just for context, I remember seeing this pattern back in like 2009, 2010, something like that, when I first started making friendship bracelets, and I looked at this massive pattern and I thought, wow, this is insane. That's so massive, like it's so big. Who is ever going to make this? Like whoever makes this must be crazy to attempt this, like this is so huge. But then it's actually only like 28 strings, so I can definitely make this relatively easily at this point. So this is just kind of a memorable pattern for me because I remember thinking that. Um, so I want to do a knot with me for that at some point. What else do I absolutely want to make tutorials on? I want to make a tutorial on this one, but I feel like that would be a lot of steps again. Like this one is somewhat reminiscent of the Starburst pattern in the sense that it's made in a similar-ish way. But I remember how long it took me to film that tutorial and I'm thinking if it's gonna take me that long to do this one. Hopefully not, I mean there's a little bit less steps. I don't know, I don't know. How about I cut the strings for it as well and we go with the same same idea. The rest of these like I want to film Not With Me's for. Specifically, I really wanna film a Not With Me for this one but then it's also very, very big. This one's even bigger than the one that I showed before. This one is what, 30 strings? But I, this one's been on my to-do list for a while and I really want to make it but I also really want to make it in like these specific colors so if I find the colors for it I'm going to do it if not then I won't but also I don't really know how I would how I would start this one there's no obvious point to do like two triangle ends unless I do something like this maybe but then there's no mm, 
Did anyone make this? Oh, people did make it. Okay, so how did this person start this? Yeah, that was, okay. I mean, that works. Good point, good point. <laughs> Might do that, actually. Um, yeah, if I find the colors for this one, I definitely want to make it because this has been on my to-do list for a while. The rest of these I'm not like too keen on making right now. I actually did a tutorial on this one, did a tutorial on this one already. I'm thinking if I want to do a tutorial on this one as well, purely because like this is such a summery bracelet, might as well do it in the summertime. You know, there's like specific patterns like this one and this one, for example, they speak summary to me, you know? The rest, oh, and this one, for example, as well. Like, the rest of them, not necessarily. Like, yeah, I mean, rainbow patterns, I guess, kind of are summary, but not inherently, whereas something that includes a flower, I feel like, kind of is. So maybe I should prioritize this one, actually, because this wouldn't be too difficult to explain. All right, I feel like that's enough. Let's do this one. This one, if I have the colors, I'm gonna put that one off to the side. Definitely this one. Let's put the ones that are definitely first. Okay, this one, definitely. This one, definitely. This one, definitely. This one, if I have the colors. This one, let's put that one at the very end because I like it, but I can do that one anytime. This one, let's try it because again, summary. This one, if I have the energy. This one, if I have the colors. And then this one again, if I have the energy. That's a good selection of patterns. That's what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's plenty of bracelets. That sounds good. Let's get to cutting. And here we have my beautiful piles of string. This one is probably my favorite because that's the rainbow one. I love it. Summer is such a cool time for rainbow bracelets, honestly. Like, I, I firmly believe that. So yeah, this bracelet I'm definitely making a tutorial on. Here is the pile for this one. I feel like it matches quite well and it also looks quite nice together. This one is so cute. This is my pile for that, just a rainbow. This one took me forever to pick out. And then when I tried to pick this one out, I realized that I, I don't have enough colors. So I'm gonna have to go to the store and get some more. But for this one, we have, we have this beautiful pile, which is now kind of messed up in order, but this is the vibe. This one was pretty simple. We just have these colors. This one, I haven't picked the colors out yet because I've used up so many of the oranges and all the other colors picking out these. So I'm gonna cut the strings for all of these bracelets first and see if I actually have enough left over. If, if not, I'm gonna go grab some. For this one, I actually did manage to pick the colors out and they are here and I'm actually really happy with this. I think this is super cool. You'll notice that there's no black. Um, I can't find my black. It's somewhere in my suitcase separately from all the other colors. So I'm gonna go find that and add that in a second. But this is what it's looking like. Obviously I have this this is kind of like a placeholder, I'm gonna use that one. But that's the only one I've got left. If not, I'm gonna go grab some more string later. And then this one I decided not to cut for now because of the same reason I am running out of strings. <laughs> but yeah, I am actually running out of strings. Like I still have a lot of string, but I've got less variety. There's a lot of duplicates. And a lot of these I do need to go grab more from the store. But this is what it's looking like now. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut these strings. I've prepped and started five bracelets and I am so excited to finish all of these. Some more than others, to be honest, but still. I'll leave all the patterns for these in the description and then also once all the tutorials and all of the Not With Me's come out, I will also leave those linked. But this is gonna be a chevron. I haven't decided on the name for this bracelet yet, but this is gonna be a chevron. For now, we've just got the cute teardrop loop and obviously the two repeating rows that I explained within the tutorial. Oh, did I mention I already filmed the tutorials for all of these? Yeah, so this is gonna be a tutorial. Also love the color combination, so cute. This is the rainbow one that we were looking at previously. This one is also going to be a tutorial. And again, it's only two rows. This is super simple. 
I'm very excited for this one. This one was a little bit more complex, just in the sense that there's a lot more rows that needed to be done to repeat the pattern, but it's actually relatively simple. Like the first few rows are obviously just a candy stripe row, and then you've only just got like the black triangle, then the diamond in the center, then another black triangle. So it's relatively easy. Very excited for this one as well. I love this pattern. So that's a tutorial. And then finally, this one is just gonna be a not with me, not a tutorial because it's massive. But this one I'm probably the most excited about because I haven't made a wider bracelet in ages and I'm super excited to finish one. And then we've got this one, which is gonna be the like sunflower one. I originally wanted this to be a tutorial, but then I actually sat down and I looked at the pattern and I realized that there's no way I can do that. Let me show you how I actually look at patterns. So first of all, I wanted to rearrange the strings in the pattern so that you can actually like have a row of just the background color because obviously in the bracelet itself, the diamonds of the sunflower kind of bleed into each other. So the, like the beginning of this one is the end of that one. So they bleed into each other. So I can't really do a proper triangle end, but I wanted a triangle end with just the background color. So I had to like first decide how to modify the colors for that. And so here was me trying to figure that out. I took a screenshot of the pattern and then just like drew on it and sort of indicated what the color changes needed to be in order to fit the thing that I was trying to do. And then I took a screenshot of the pattern and I literally sat down and I started drawing out each of the elements that I would have to explain piece by piece. And then I numbered them. So I was first gonna explain this kind of like reverse chevron shape, then this little diamond, then these two diamonds, then this would be the fifth step, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 would be this diamond, 11. Basically, point is, it ended up being 34 steps. And once I did that, I realized, yeah, there's no way, there's no way that I can do this. I don't do diagrams like these for like every pattern, because obviously like some patterns are just easier to explain than other patterns. Some patterns are like two rows, right? I don't have to do this, but when it is a more complex pattern, this is typically how I decide in what order I'm gonna explain things. But yeah, 34 steps made me realize that that's just too much. So this is gonna end up being a not with me, but I might, use this bracelet to kind of explain what I did here and how I changed the colors for the bracelet to fit. So I'm still debating that, potentially we'll do this, but this is gonna come out much later if I do end up doing this because I have many, many more videos I need to put before then. Anyway, <laughs> that's pretty much it. <laughs> So yeah, that's where I'm gonna leave you guys for today. And now it's time for me to start that 24 hour bracelet challenge. I'm anxious about it. I am very nervous about it, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's a big thing. So wish me luck, hopefully it goes well, and I'll see you soon. And just a reminder, if you're interested in purchasing my book, please consider pre-ordering as that greatly, greatly helps the book's performance. And if you do pre-order, make sure to enter the giveaway at rockynook.com slash friendship. And also before I go, I wanna give a special shout out to my patrons and especially my top supporters. Thank you so much for your support. I truly appreciate it. If you also wanna become a patron, there is a link in the description for you to sign up to do that. But in any case, thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I definitely enjoyed hanging out with you. I have so many braces to make now. I'm so excited. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.